Does this come out of Einstein's theory uh, fairly directly, the notion of a black hole? Did he predict it? So it comes out of his theory so directly that it was the first mathematical solution of his equations that anyone ever found. Hmm. Carl Schwarzschild, a great uh, German astrophysicist, found it a matter of months after Einstein formulated his general theory of relativity. However, it wasn't well understood at that time. We had this mathematical solution that uh, it described something, uh, but everybody thought of it, well, this is the external gravitational field of a star, but, uh, but if you look at the mathematics of it and you take away the star, there's still something there that's pulling gravitationally. And it was really not until uh, the era of, uh, and the work of John Wheeler and colleagues in the 19, uh, late 50s, early 60s, that we really understood clearly these black holes. Even though the mathematics of, of mathematical solution, Schwarzschild solution, had been around by then for uh, nearly uh, 50 years. That's interesting. So w people knew about it, but they, they didn't uh, believe in it, or what? So it was just very hard to get a physical handle yeah. on the meaning of the mathematics when the mathematics is saying that time is flowing in yeah. a direction. Well, I can understand the difficulty, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they, all the, there's no, no light coming out, right, of a black hole, but you can't see anything that's in there itself. So how did, how did we first know it was there? So the first observational evidence for a black hole was <coughs> uh, an object called Cygnus X1, uh, which uh, was an X-ray source. Uh, you looked at it, uh, you, you saw that uh, uh, there were X-rays coming off of something that is, was inferred to be an accretion disk the gas had to be orbiting around something. Uh, the astronomers uh, weighed that something because this object had a companion. Uh, and uh, so you could do, apply Kepler's laws to the orbit of the companion and weigh it. Mm. And discovered that this object uh, weighed something like 10 times as much as the sun. Mm. And then you used what we understand about the fundamental laws of nature, which says that anything that is completely dark uh, but uh, aside from the x-rays coming off this, this disk, it's pulling gas off of itself uh, and to form this disk, but it's dark you, uh, and it's that heavy and it's sufficiently compact to make those x-rays, it can only be a black hole. So that was sort of an indirect uh, uh, mm -hmm. piece, of, piece of evidence. 